Welcome to the Smoke Learning Channel. In this video, we will look at how to export different media files from Smoke. The exporting types include image sequences, movie files, audio files and AAF files for Pro Tools. Just like in the very beginning, there are three ways to get to the export tools. First, select the clip or sequence that you would like to export. You can click on the file menu at the top of the screen and choose export. Or you could right click on the selected clip or sequence and choose export in the pop-up menu. Or lastly, you can click on the Media Hub tab at the bottom of the screen. All three mechanisms will take you to the export tools. Once you can see the file browser, navigate through the folders to choose your destination. In my case, I will navigate to the desktop. Now when it comes to exporting, you can export one or multiple clips simply by command clicking the clips to create a selection. In the context of the Media Hub, you can drag and drop the selection from the Media Library to the File Browser window. The Media Export panel will appear. The first choice you have to make is what exactly you would like to export. Opening the Export pull-down menu, you can choose between Audio, File Sequence, Movie and Sequence Publish. With each of the export options you select, you will have a second drop-down list with a bunch of export presets. So if the option is in the list, you can simply choose what you want and press Export. You also have the advanced options that you can expose. This will give you a series of detailed menus to be able to adjust sequence properties, movie options, video format options and audio settings. You can also customize the file name to suit your deliverable needs. You can either manually edit the file name in the bottom text box or if you are exporting multiple files, you can use the token system to choose various metadata tags on which to base the file name. For example, in the Add Token pull-down list, you can name your file based on clip name, date, resolution, reel, workstation etc. You can also mix these variables to create your own unique naming convention. With regards to encoding settings, each tab menu will allow you to tweak the detailed setting for your encode. A useful tip to note is that once you have customized your settings in the advanced options, you can click the Save button to define a new preset. You can choose whether the preset is project specific or available in every project. The final export option we will examine is the Sequence Publish. Here you have a few presets that allow you to export an AAF to Pro Tools for audio mixing. One of the presets will also give Pro Tools a flattened video reference to use during audio mixing. The sequence options also have an advanced menu where settings can be tweaked depending on your facility's workflow. To complete my export, I will use an Apple H.264 export preset. Once you are satisfied with all your settings, you press the Export button. The export kicks off in the background and you can carry on working. To monitor the export process, you switch to the Jobs tab that will allow you to monitor the progress. You can see whether the clip or sequence is exporting or waiting to be exported. When the entry disappears from the job list, it is complete. The job list refreshes every so often, but you can click Refresh to manually update the list. You also have a few operations in the job menu to manage your exports. Select the relevant entry and in the Actions pull-down, you can delete, suspend, restart or resume an export if required. Once the process is complete, you can go to your designated folder location and see the exported file. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for future videos coming from the Smoke Learning Channel.